This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Via Skype, again, I'm joined by WBC, former WBC champion, not WBC champion now, um, Oliver McCall. It's been a, a couple of weeks since we caught up. I obviously spoke to Shannon Briggs uh, recently, which I know you saw. Um, what did you think of what he had to say about you, Oliver? Well, I, I, I was kind of amazed for him to say what he said, you know, that uh, he wanted to fight me first and, you know, uh, that he'll put a whooping on me. So that kind of really took me in the wrong way. But uh, he's a cool dude, but, you know, I'm ready to put it on him, man. He's talking about he could whoop me and he'll put them hands on me and whoever loses should retire. I'm ready to do it. Let's get it on. Of course, last time we spoke, you suggested that Super 6, Super 8, if you like, uh, with the likes of yourself, Shannon Briggs, Mike Tyson, David Hay, uh, Lennox Lewis, the Klitschko's. Um, and I mentioned those names to Shannon Briggs. Um, but you're right. He said that he was ready to put it on you first. He wanted you first. And he'd take you out in the first round, if you thought. <laughs> Thoughts on that, well, Oliver? Well, I tell you what. Instead of we had the Super 6, then we went to the Super 8. Well, right now we need the Super 2. The Super 2 right now. So that will be the, the forecast for the Super 8 with the eight uh, former champions. And I'm pretty sure the other former champions, if they're any one of the 26 that was down there in Florida, that heard the conversation that I talked about, Shannon Briggs will know and I want all of them to come and see this fight. And they would love to see me and Shannon Briggs fight uh, for that fight. So that's number one. And that's to all the heavyweights that basically that's going to be in the tournament. And they know what I'm talking about. Shannon Briggs, this will be a super two between me and you. The one who loses won't be in the super eight. Let's go there. Let's do that. So that'll stop all the talk. So you can stop going to the past, present, and future champions, disrespecting them everywhere you go, and they fan base and all this. Let's put a stop to that. A super two between me and you, champ. Let's go, champion. Oliver, a lot of boxing fans who watch this video and have been watching the other videos we've been doing with past heavyweights such as yourself will criticize the fact that why do you guys need to get back in the ring? And then the same goes for Mike Tyson, you know, a complete legend of the sport. How do you defend that in your position, Oliver? Well, what makes me want to get back into the sport now and stay in the sport now is uh, really Tyson Fury now. You know, I, want, I wanted uh, Wilder to beat Fury personally. I wanted Wilder to beat Fury. I was, I was rooting for Wilder. And Fury called out my son about, what, nine, ten years ago and wanted to fight my son. And this is back when I was fighting and everything in Florida. And uh, when that didn't go through, uh, I said, well, fight me. I said, fight me. No, we don't want to fight you. And and, and that kind of really disrupted me. And ever since then, I've been wanting to fight Tyson Fury or see him get beat. And I definitely wanted Ty uh, uh, Wilder to whoop Tyson Fury and keep that WBC title. That WBC title means very much to me because I was WBC champion. I'm ready. To, to become WBC champion again at Tyson Fury. If I got to go through Shannon Briggs first, I will crash you, dude. And I and, and much respect to both champions. Uh, of course, Tyson Fury being champion, he done his thing with, with Wilder. Wilder, God bless you, the, the, the champion. But this Shannon Briggs went too far. And all the other former, cha former champions that heard the conversation in Florida when we was all together in the ring know what I'm talking about. So let's do it, champ. Let's do it, champ. Let's go, champ. Super two between me and you. One of us retire. Let's do it, champ. To be fair, out of the, all the names such as Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson, uh, yourself, uh, Shannon Briggs, you have been the most active. I think, what, 14 months ago you fought? Is that right, Oliver? Yes, I did. 14 months ago I fought in Mexico. I had a second round knockout and uh, looking forward to fighting again, possibly uh, June the 25th in, in uh Houston, Texas. So that might be coming. Uh, also, uh, of course, I got Ron Guerrero. He's talking about fighting again. So I'm going to be fighting on that card very shortly. Let's say you and Shannon Briggs does materialize. What happens, Oliver? One of us retire, first of all. So that's number one. That's being realistic. If I lose, there ain't no more career. My career goes and takes a shift to train or managing fighters and that sort. And dealing with some of the people that's dealing with me now within my camp, within my little structure here. That's what I will be doing. Have you spoken to Evander Holyfield recently? 
Uh, no, I haven't spoke to Van der Holyfield recently. Last time I talked to Van der Holyfield, he wasn't that much interested in coming back, but he was kind of considerate a bit. I was feeling a little bit more with Riddick Bo and hanging out with him, trying to get him back in shape and uh, doing my thing there. Have you seen any of uh, other Shannon's posts? He keeps calling David Hayes' name. He's calling everyone his name. See, see, that's the situation. David Hayes ain't one of the 26 that was there in Florida to, 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 to go through and hear the things concerning Shannon Briggs as far as doing exhibitions or sparring, which I done a sparring session with Shannon Briggs twice, but we ain't going to talk about that. Anyway, we need to fight. Amano Amano, the loser retires. The winner goes into the Super 8. We're going to put that there. That's where Oliver McCall is right now. The way he even called me out, hey, it's, it's, it's seven other guys, I'm pretty sure. Uh, David Hay and Lennox Lewis, I want the Klitsch goals or whatnot, and, uh, and, you know, in here too. So, but right now, I want Shannon Briggs. And that's the Super 8. Then, whichever one of me and Shannon Briggs win, go to the Super 8. Let's start there first. Because this is real. And, and the disrespect that Shannon Briggs has been doing to the past, present, and future champions, because it's future champions he's probably disrespecting because he thinks he's the best in the world of anything that existed. And he's wrong. Okay. Well, listen, Oliver McCall, um, I know you just wanted to get on today and, and respond to that video. If there's anything else you'd like to add before we go, please do so. God is good and stay on the right track. And, and hopefully, God's will, everybody get through this epidemic. Fantastic words. Oliver McCall, former WBC heavyweight champion of the ball. Thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. And I'm sure we're going to have another catch up soon, all right? Yes, sir. God bless you. And you. Thank you, sir. Bye bye.